Today we're going to be talking about those good old oral dosage calculations and we're going to be focusing on those yummy tablets. Let's get started. Our practice question states, a provider orders lisinopril 10 milligrams daily. Lisinopril tablets are available in five milligrams each. So we need to figure out how much we're going to provide this patient. So starting with dimensional analysis, we're going to start with our first fraction, which is our desired dose over how many doses we're going to give. So in this example, we have a 10 milligram tablet, which is our desired dose, and we're going to give it over one dose. Now, because the desired dose and what we have available is the same metric conversion, we don't have to worry about doing any conversion here. So now we just need to focus on what is the volume that we want to give and the dosage that we've got. So the volume we want to give is one tablet because that's what we know we have available to us. And that one tablet is going to have five milligrams. Now, as always, you want to make sure that your metric conversions are going to line up. So I have milligrams here and milligrams here, and they're going to cancel each other out. Out, leaving us just with the dose and how many tablets we want to give. So as always, when we're multiplying fractions, we're going to multiply everything on the top of our equation by everything on the bottom of our equation. So up here we have 10 times 1 is going to give us 10, and down at the bottom we have 1 times 5 is going to give us 5. If we divide 5 by 10, that is going to give us our answer of 2 tablets. Now let's move on to ratio and proportion. In these fractions, we're going to have the dosage that we have, over the volume that we have by the dosage that's ordered and the volume that's ordered. So what do we have? We have five milligram tablets that are available in one tablet. What is the dosage that we need to give? We've got 10 milligrams that we need to give and we need to figure out how many tablets in order to provide the correct dose to this patient. We're gonna do a little cross multiplication here and that's going to give us 5x is equal to 10. We need to isolate x, so we're going to divide both sides by 5, and that's going to give us our correct answer of 2. And lastly, we're going to use our formula method, which is desired over have multiplied by the quantity. So in this case, we desire 10 milligrams. We have 5 milligrams, and it's available in one tablet. So we know that 10 divided by 5 is going to be 2. We're going to multiply that by 1, and that's going to give us our correct answer of 2 tablets. Our next practice question states, a provider orders levothyroxine, 75 micrograms daily. Levothyroxine tablets are available in 25 micrograms each. So starting with dimensional analysis, we have desired dose over how many doses we want to give. So in this case, we want to give 75 micrograms over one dose. Thankfully, just like in our previous practice question, both of our available dose and what we want to give are in the same metric conversion, so we don't have to do any conversions yet. So now we just have to figure out what is the volume that we've got versus the dose that we've got. We know that we have one tablet, and based on that one tablet, it is going to be 25 micrograms. So as always, we want to make sure that our metric conversions are going to line up so it makes sense. We have micrograms here and micrograms here, so we can cancel those out, leaving us with our tablet based on the dose that we need. So we're going to multiply everything on the top of our fraction and everything on the bottom of our fraction. So up here we have 75 multiplied by 1, that's going to give us 75. And on the bottom we have one dose multiplied by 25, and that's going to give us 25. Because we're dealing with a little bit of a bigger number, I'm going to go ahead and use my handy dandy calculator. So we've got 75 divided by 25 is going to give us our correct answer of three tablets. Now let's try ratio and proportion. So what is the dosage that we've got? The dosage that we've got is 25 micrograms over the volume that we've got. We know that this 25 micrograms is available in one tablet. So what is the dosage that is ordered that we need to give? Well, we know that it's 75 micrograms. So we're going to put 75 up here at the top of our second fraction. And the only thing we don't know is how many tablets we need. So we're going to put X tablets at the bottom. Again, we're going to do a little bit of some cross multiplication. That is going to give us 25 X is equal to 75. We need to isolate X by dividing both sides by 25, and that is going to give us our correct answer of X is equal to 
three tablets. So let's finish off with our formula method. So it's desired over half multiplied by quantity. So we desire 75 micrograms. What we have available to us is 25 micrograms, and that is available in one tablet. So we're just gonna do a little quick math. 75 divided by 25 is equal to three. Multiplied by one gives us our correct answer of three tablets. Now we're going to transition to a little bit more complicated kinds of problems. So this problem states that we need to give azithromycin 0.5 grams as prescribed daily. But azithromycin tablets are available in 250 milligrams. That means we're going to have to do a little bit of symmetric conversions. So this is where dimensional analysis really shines because we're able to do that conversion within our problem. So starting with our first equation, we have our desired dose over how many doses we want to give. So in this case, we're going to give 0.5 grams and that's going to be provided in one dose. Now for this problem, we know we need to go from grams to milligrams. So this middle conversion right here, this middle fraction is going to be the conversion dose that you've got over the conversion desired dose. So in this case, we just want to make sure we line up our metric conversions. So we know that one gram is going to be equal to a thousand milligrams. And lastly, we want to multiply the volume that we've got over the dosage that we've got. So in this case, we know what we have available to us is 250 milligrams. So we're going to put that at the bottom and that is available in one tablet. So now we just want to make sure that everything's lined up so that it makes sense. So up here we have grams is lined up with our grams. That's perfect. And then we have our milligrams lined up with our milligrams. We can eliminate those leaving us just with the tablet and our dose. So as always, we want to multiply everything on the top of our fraction and everything on the bottom of our fraction. So at the top of our fraction, we have 0 0.5 multiplied by 1000 multiplied by one is going to give us our correct answer of 500. And at the bottom of our fraction, we have one multiplied by one multiplied by 250 is going to give us 250. We're going to divide 500 by 250 and that's going to give us our correct answer of two tablets. Now let's do some ratio and proportion. So the dosage you've got over the volume you've got is our first fraction. So we know that we have available to us is 250 milligrams and it's available in one tablet. But now we have a little bit of a conundrum. We're going to have to do this metric conversion outside of our fraction. It's not going to be the same like we see with dimensional analysis. So we have to convert it first. So in this case, we have 0 0.5 grams and we need to convert it to milligrams. So by looking at our handy dandy chart down here, we know that grams is our base unit and milligrams is down here at the end. So what we want to do is we want to count how many times we're going to move our decimal place depending on which way we're converting. In this case, we're going from left to right. So we're going to convert one, two, three. We're going to move that decimal three times to the right, giving us one, two, three, ultimately giving us 500 milligrams. So I'm going to plug in our dosage order as being 500 milligrams. And again, we don't know how many tablets we need. So we're just going to leave that as X. We're going to do a little cross multiplication that you can see here. And that is going to give us 250 X is equal to 500. We have to isolate X by dividing both sides by 250. And that's ultimately going to give us X is equal to two tablets. And lastly, with the formula method, we have desired over half is multiplied by our quantity. What we desire is 500 milligrams. We know that because we've already done the metric conversion. What we have available to us is 250 milligrams, and that's available in one tablet. So now we're just going to do a little bit of handy dandy math. We have 500 divided by 250 is going to give us two. That's going to be multiplied by one tablet, leading us to the correct answer of two tablets. Let's do another metric conversion equation. We have gabapentin 300 milligrams need to be provided three times daily. Gabapentin tablets are available in 0.1 grams. So we're going to have to do a little conversion to make this make sense. So starting with dimensional analysis, we have the desired dose over how much dose we need to give. So in this case, we know that we desire 300 milligrams and it needs to be provided in one dose. So now we need to do a little bit of conversion. So at the top of our fraction, we have the conversion dosage that we have. And at the bottom of our fraction, it's the desired dose conversion that we need. So in this case, we know we have milligrams and we're going to grams. So at the bottom, we're going to put our thousand milligram because that's the desired dose. 
And at the top, that's the dose that we have, we're gonna put one gram because we know that one gram is equal to a thousand milligrams. Lastly, we're gonna multiply the volume that we've got over the dosage that we've got. So we know that it is available in one tablet and it's 0.1 grams. So now we're just gonna make sure that it lines up. So we have milligrams to milligrams, that makes sense, and grams to grams, leaving us only with tablet and dose. So we're in the correct order. So now we're gonna do some multiplying. So we have 300 multiplied by one. Multiplied by one is going to give us our top number of 300. And at the bottom, we have one multiplied by 1,000 multiplied by 0 0.1, and that's gonna give us 100. So we're gonna divide 300 by 100, and that's gonna give us our correct answer of three tablets. Moving on to ratio and proportion, what is the dosage you've got over the volume you've got? What we know we have is 0 0.1 grams, and it's available in one tablet. This is gonna be equal to the dosage ordered over the volume that we need to give. But in this case, we know we need to do a little bit of some conversions in order to convert that milligrams to grams. So we know we have 300 milligrams and we need to convert that to grams. So how many times are we going to move our decimal? We're gonna move it to the left this time. We're gonna move it one, two, three. So our decimal will be behind our whole number, one, two, three. That's going to give us the metric conversion of 0 0.3 grams. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. We need to give 0 0.3 grams over an unknown amount of tablets because that's what we're trying to figure out. So we're going to do a little cross multiplication. That's going to give us 0 0.1 x is equal to 0 0.3. We need to isolate x, so we're going to divide both sides by 0 0.1. So 0 0.3 divided by 0 0.1 is going to give us our correct answer of x is equal to three tablets. And lastly, we have our formula method is our desired dose over what we have multiplied by quantity. So in this case, we have 300 milligrams is what we desire. So just like we did with the ratio and proportion, we can also convert it in the other direction. So if I needed to convert 0 0.1 grams to milligrams, what am I going to do? I'm going to move my decimal. So I'm going to move it to the right one, two, three times. So one, to three means I need to add two zeros. So 0 0.1 grams is equal to 100 milligrams. I can plug that into my equation here and we know that it is available in one tablet. So 300 divided by 100 is three multiplied by one means that we need to give this patient three tablets. So in our last practice question, we're gonna be converting some body weight. So the practice question says, prednisone is prescribed at one milligram per kilogram daily for an adult weighing 154 pounds. Prednisone tablets are available in five milligrams per tablet. So with dimensional analysis, the first thing we wanna do is convert the size of our adult. So in this case, we know that we have a 154 pound patient and this is one adult. So now we wanna plug in our conversion. We know that one kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. So in this case, I'm gonna put one kilogram at the top and 2.2 pounds at the bottom of our fraction. For our next fraction, we wanna put the desired dose. So in this case, we know that we wanna give one milligram for each kilogram that's available for our patient. And lastly, we wanna put the volume that you've got over the dosage that you've got. So in this case, we know that we're gonna have one tablet and it's available in five milligrams. So now we just wanna make sure everything's lined up. So we have pounds to pounds, that's perfect. Kilograms to kilograms, even better. And our milligrams to milligrams, leading us just with the tablet for our adult. So now we're gonna do some handy dandy math. We're gonna multiply everything at the top of our equation. So we have 154 multiplied by one, multiplied by one, multiplied by one is going to give us 154. Now everything on the bottom of our fraction, we've got one multiplied by 2.2, multiplied by one, multiplied by five is going to give us 11. So now we're gonna do a little bit of division. We're gonna divide 154 by 11, 
and that is going to give us 14 tablets. Now really quickly before we move on, I just wanna have a quick discussion about this. So anytime you have an exorbitant amount of tablets for just one dose, you need to be questioning things. As a nurse, you are the last person that's going to protect that patient from getting outrageous numbers of tablets or doses or things that just don't make sense. So anytime we have a large number of capsules that are not reasonable, we wanna make sure that we are reaching out to the provider that ordered that medication to have a quick conversation to just clarify specifically what it is that they were looking for. The starting dose of prednisone, just so that you know, may be between five milligrams and 60 milligrams per day. And a dose that's above 40 milligrams per day is considered a high dose like we have in this particular situation. So again, we really want to make sure we're having those conversations and protecting our patients. So moving on to ratios and proportions, the first thing we want to look at is the dosage we've got over the volume we've got. We know that we have five milligrams and it's available in one tablet. So now we need to figure out the dosage that's ordered over the volume that we need to give. So we know we need to give one milligram per kilogram. So we're gonna need to convert the pounds of our patient to kilograms. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take 154, we're gonna divide it by 2.2, and that's going to give us 70 milligrams. Remember, 40 milligrams, anything higher than that prednisone is really going to be considered a very high dose and needs to be questioned. But in this case, we're just gonna continue with the equation just for dexterity. So we're gonna put 70 milligrams and that's available over X tablets because again, we don't know how much we need to give. So doing a little cross multiplication, that is going to give us 5X is equal to 70 milligrams. We need to divide both sides by five in order to get our correct answer. And that is going to be X is equal to 14 tablets. And lastly, for a formula method, we have desired over have multiplied by our quantity. So we desire 70 milligrams because we've already previously done the conversion with ratios and proportions. What we, what we have available to us is five milligrams and that's available in one tablet. So we're gonna divide 70 by five, that's gonna give us 14, multiplied by one, again, is going to give us the correct answer of 14 tablets. I hope that this video is helpful in understanding everything you need to know when it comes to oral tablet dosage calculations. If you have any additional questions, make sure that you leave them down below. I love answering your questions. Head over to my store at nursechungstore.com where there's a ton of additional resources to help you ace those dosage calculation exams. And as always, I'm gonna catch you in the next video. Bye.